Hi, Shirley here, and today I'm going to talk about grounding and especially grounding crystals. I have this request from uh, E. Tobias Sara. I hope I am pronouncing it right, E. Tobias Sara. So you asked me to do a video about grounding, and she said, Thanks for reminding me. Can you please? make a video on grounding techniques, using crystals, being in nature, rooting myself in meditation, and doing sports. So that's her grounding techniques. So first, yes, root, being in nature, walking barefoot on the ground if you have the possibility, doing sports that returns you, return you to the body uh, is something that's very grounding. There are also grounding techniques in meditations, um, like visualizing horse go from you to the ground asking for Mama Earth for permission to ground yourself, to ground you, and usually uh, she agrees. So I'm going to talk about what I'm using as a part of that, um, other methods to ground yourself, and I'm going to talk about crystals, but before crystals, is through self-pleasure. And self-pleasure can be massaging your body with essential oils and I'd recommend do turn to aromatherapist for one meeting about consulting um, concerning essential oils that fit you and your current situation. Um, so massaging the body and also massaging the perineum, perineum area that is between the sex organs and the anus. So that's something people are sort of like taboo to talk about. Um, but it's really grounding and return you to the body, whether you're a man or whether you have, you know, male sex organs or female sex organs or both, um, it helps. Now, today I'm going to talk about crystals, grounding crystals. So if you Google or YouTube grounding crystals, you're going to find probably black tourmaline, which is very protective and very grounding and good reason why it's there, or black obsidian. But I'm going to talk about other crystals that might not appear, and I use them, and they're very grounding. So the first one is Tiger's Eye, and I'm referring to the golden one. There's the red one, which is also grounding. It works on the base chakra. This one works all the way from the base to the solar plexus. So the base chakra, the... Um, <clears throat> fertility chakra that is the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra and that is very grounding it stabilizes the mind and it's connected with Leo and the Sun so it's both a fire and earth element and it's very good when you want to use your mind over <laughs> mind over emotions it's not mind over heart a crystal but it is a very good one when you want to take rational decisions and not be carried away by your emotions it's very good when you want to persevere it's very good for studies for example intellectual studies academic studies and for endurance so that's tiger's eye another one i use especially during the first days of my moon days and that is black obsidian eh, sorry snowflake obsidian black obsidian is also very grounding snowflake i found to be working immediately